to you, my gorgeous friend, and welcome back to the Empowered by M's podcast. I am so excited to be back and recording episodes again, sharing with you guys regularly in this longer format and also via video and audio. Yes, in case you missed it, the Empowered by M's podcast has officially gone vodcast and podcast. So we are giving and serving the best of both worlds. So you can catch our podcast on YouTube and you can also listen to it on Apple Podcasts and as well as Spotify and wherever else that you stream your podcast. So I'm so excited to be bringing more content, bringing the podcast in this, in these different formats, especially for those of you who enjoy consuming content in various, um, in various formats. This is for y'all. So I want you to let me know, what do you guys think about this new setup on this new version of the podcast? Are you enjoying it? Do you love seeing me on YouTube? Because I love seeing you virtually. <laughs> so in today's episode, we're going to explore something that really is not spoken about enough, something that is beginning to come to the fore a lot more when it comes to personal development and and wa walking on this journey of, of self-healing and, and self-responsibility, self-accountability, and really taking the reins of your life and directing it in the direction that you want it to go, as opposed to the direction you were told it should be going or the direction you've been going in because you've been scared to actually explore the direction you actually want to go in, right? So we're going to be exploring how all of those feelings that often are left unprocessed and suppressed affect your ability to co-create and to manifest and to move through the world as this authentic, bold, carefree version of yourself who you know deep down you are. Because when you are being inauthentic, when you are wearing that mask at work, in your relationships, even with yourself, sometimes we can put on this mask and we know deep down though, we will always feel it. Deep down, you'll know when, when you're being true and authentic to yourself and when you are just trying to sell a story, sell a dream, sell some sort of facade. Um, and that's something that you will know. And oftentimes this facade, this mask, this version of us who isn't authentic to who we really are and authentic to the full expression of us is there because there is a covering, there is a hiding, there is a sweeping under the ruggage that is happening with your emotions, with your feelings, with your thoughts, with certain habits even that you might have that you know are not leading you towards the life that you want to live. Now, today specifically, we're going to focus on how our emotions affect us. Now, our emotions are energy in motion, right? Energy is, our emotions are energy in motion. And what that means is that they are meant to move through us. Now, where most of us get stuck in our past, essentially, because when we don't process a specific emotion or event or situation or trauma that happened to us, that thing begins to live literally in the cells of our bodies. Our body keeps score. Our body keeps score of the good. So when you exercise, when you eat well, when you take care of your body, when you sleep, your body remembers that. And on the other flip side of the coin, your body remembers when you are suppressing emotions. Your body remembers the trauma that happened to you when you were two years old that you can no longer recall consciously. The body keeps score in that way. So when we are not honoring our emotions and allowing them to move through us the way that they were intended to, we create this block. We create this block that can lead you to feeling stuck. It can lead you to feeling like, man, I'm doing the things. I'm still not getting the things or you're getting the things, right? You've manifested all the things, but now here you are not feeling anything. You're numb. You don't know whether you're feeling happy. You're just like so indifferent to this dream, this desire that you had that you were like, oh my God, once I get this, it's going to be X, Y, Z. And then you get the thing and you are just completely indifferent to it. And that can be because you are completely out of touch with your feelings in the first place. 
Now, feelings don't really get a great rep, right? I mean, when I when in fact I, I can recall, I can clearly recall a version of me who thought it was a pain an annoyance, a nag to share my feelings, to share my emotions, either with my partner or platonic friendships. Like I thought it was just like, yeah, you know, I'll just deal with it by myself. But it's actually so powerful and so empowering when you honor what you are feeling in a particular moment and you allow that emotion, that feeling to be expressed. Now, mind you, it's really important that you are in a safe place, right? And I believe that that's something that you would either know, whether it's a confidant, whether you know this is somebody I can tell this to and it's going to be safe. It's not going to end up on Twitter, right? Or you write it down in your journal. Whatever way you choose to process and release your emotions, it's an important part of the journey. And I'm going to be hosting a workshop about this topic, about nervous system regulation. So if I already haven't announced the date by the time you listen to this podcast, just uh, look out for the information and the registration link in the show notes so that you can join and register and learn how you can begin to regulate your nervous system. Because the life that you desire, the relationships that you seek with yourself and with others is truly on the other side of a nervous system that is regulated. It's on the other side of the version of you who is no longer bottling things up and keeping things stuck and pretending like everything is okay, right? It's the ver it, it, that all of those things that you desire are and will come to the version of you who is brave and bold enough to have some self accountability and face and sit with your stuff. Now, I'm not saying that this this means unpacking your entire your entire childhood in one therapy session or whatever it is, but it's it's the intention, the intention to continuously be open to feeling your emotions moment to moment, because a lot of us moment to moment repress and suppress. We don't fully express ourselves. We let people get away with crossing our boundaries without speaking up for it. And all of these things over time, they compound and they almost, I am going to put it simply, they become energy leaks. They become Places in your auric field, holes in your auric field where you are leaking energy. You are leaking life force energy. So you don't even have the energy to co-create what you want because it's going. It's going towards some emotion that you are pretending like you don't have that is dying to be expressed. And there is so much power in allowing your emotions to just take over, to just run over you. My friends, we are 70% water. Like literally, I whenever I think about that, I think about the waters of the earth and nature. Then I think about tears and how they, honestly, that's I feel like it's something we should be freely doing a lot of the time to process, to clear, to celebrate, to whatever it is we should. We should be allowing the tears, the waters that run through us to be freely expressed way more often than we do so that we can be in touch so that when life presents you that amazing manifestation that you've been waiting for, that you can actually feel it. You can actually celebrate it. You're not just pretending. You're not just ticking another box and then you get there and you're completely numb because You're just like, you don't even know why you were doing this thing. You're completely detached, right? There's a trickle effect that happens to how your life and reality presents itself to you when you are suppressing your emotions. It can manifest in many different ways. Energy leaks is one of them. It can manifest through through you. Um, not authentically expressing yourself. It can manifest through you not going after what you want. It can manifest through you living in scarcity and fear and not enoughness and, and feeling like everything is for everyone else, but not you. And that is a reality that a lot of people live in and will continue to live in until the moment that they die. But I really sincerely hope that Whoever is listening to this episode is 
beginning some sort of an awakening, is beginning to ask questions, is beginning to ponder about themselves, about the current state of your life, your reality, and what you have done, what how you have contributed to how your reality currently looks. And beginning to question, what can I do differently? Because we can, we can change so much, but it begins with us. Our life is not going to magically change overnight. If we are not being honest with ourselves and we're not having that raw, honest conversation with ourselves to be like, oh, wow, I really have a terrible unconscious drinking habit. And I bring this up because for a long time, there was so much shame for me around this habit And therefore, it was so hard for me to release it because I didn't even want to talk about it. I didn't with myself, let alone come onto the podcast and share this with you guys. And I talked about this a lot more in my previous uh, episode. Go check it out. The the official welcome back episode to the Empowered by M's podcast. If you haven't already listened to it, go and listen to that podcast episode. It's the very first one in this new season. And I shared a lot more about this unconscious drinking habit and how it manifested and and continued to just wreak havoc in my life. So the lack of emotion, emotional processing, emotional regulation, nervous system regulation can really, really be such a true detriment to you being able to be the full expression of who you were meant to be on this earth in this lifetime. And I believe that that's something as adults that we've got to take self-accountability for. Ain't nobody going to do this work for you, but you. It's like the gym. (laughs) I say this all the time. It's like the gym. Nobody's going to do your push-ups for you. And then you get the, you know, the bicep and the shoulders, right? Nobody's going to do that work for you. It's something that you have to show up for. And it's something that also you give yourself grace to grow into because you might be listening and you might not be ready to do all this. And that's fine. That's fine. I trust that just by you getting to the end of this podcast episode, a seed has been planted. And you will be thinking about things differently. You're going to be thinking about your emotions differently. You're going to be asking yourself different questions. My friends, the quality of the questions that you ask yourself truly determines the quality of your life. So instead of asking yourself things like, oh, I don't want to feel like this. Why do I feel like this? Be curious. Why do you actually feel like this? Where does this emotion come from? Get curious. Ask yourself these questions, right? How does it make you feel? Journal on it. Get in tune with yourself, with your thoughts, with your emotions, and you'll quickly begin to see that each and every thought that you have leads to a specific type of emotion. And if your thoughts are on loop, in a negative loop, constantly, constantly thinking about what you don't have and what other people have and how it's not fair and it'll never be you. My friends, don't be surprised that if that you move through your life feeling stuck and feeling uninspired and unmotivated. And the beginning of shifting this, the beginning of overcoming this stuckness starts with coming back into your body. It starts with connecting to your body, getting out of the mind, because all of this personal development work, I mean, it's amazing. The mindset stuff is great. Read all the books. But we have left our body out of the equation, and it is actually our body that is the vessel that manifests, that helps us manifest our our dreams, our desires into reality. It is our bodies through which we experience life, not our minds. So it's important that we bring these two together. We bring the two together and we really heal the root, the body, because otherwise we're just treating the symptom. Otherwise we're just saying affirmations and hoping, oh, Lord, I hope it works, right? Wouldn't it be 
more empowering to say an affirmation and to know and to feel that it is true and that it is possible. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think that's definitely the reality that I want. And I'm so thrilled to be able to share what I know with you about nervous system regulation in this upcoming workshop and to just continue to share and expand on everything that I continue to learn and soak up and experience, embody, and, sh and just continue to teach and share and hopefully continue to expand and pour into you and awaken and support and guide and just love on you as you move through this journey too. Because honestly, when I started this work, I wish, I just wish there was somebody who looked like me, who had somewhat similar experiences, who I could relate to, who could share their journey with me so openly and closely that I could learn from what they have experienced. And that's really, that's really why this platform exists. So ah, we've come to the end of today's podcast. As you can tell, there's a lot of passion in my voice, in my face, if you're watching on YouTube for this work, for this topic specifically. And I'm really, really excited to invite you into regulate the nervous system regulation workshop that's going to be taking place. You can find all of the registration details in the show notes, in the description, if you're tuning in on YouTube. And I'm really, really excited to welcome you there, to connect with you, to share, and to really support you and to help you understand yourself and how you can better support yourself in your healing journey. All right, my love, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for tuning into today's episode. Let me know what you guys think. I love you and I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>